Hey there everybody, welcome back to Dad Lifting. It's been a while. Anyway, before I get started, everyone's been doing these push-up challenges. They've been challenging people on Instagram to do like 10 push-ups at a time. And a friend of mine challenged me to do 1,000 push-ups in 24 hours. And I was able to accomplish it over the course of three hours one night and another four hours the next day. So I'll post some of the footage. I did push-ups in the house, in every room of the house. Some of them outside, some of them in the gym. Just push-ups everywhere. And so I'll run some of that footage along here while I'm talking. So just, you know, that's what that is over there. Anyway, hi everybody. Man, it has been a crazy time the last few months. The last month, especially since I last posted a video. Things have been pretty wild. I'm sure they've been wild for you. Just adjusting to quarantine life, social distancing, the volatility of the stock market, your kids being home, whatever. It's been freaking crazy. So that's neat, but the, the, you know, so that's kind of a bummer. But the neat part about it is, is that everyone globally is, is pretty much doing the exact same thing. We're all in this together. That's been the, the kind of fascinating part of this whole thing is you've got, I've got friends, family in Texas, California. My wife's got a really close friend in Italy. I've got a friend in Greece. We're all isolated. We're all quarantined, so social distancing, bored, dealing with issues of having not enough people around, having too many people around, struggling with, with all kinds of things, and it, we're all doing it together. And it's not just friends and family, it's famous people too. You got talk show hosts, athletes, just all kinds of people, influencers, whatever on YouTube and, and Instagram that are just doing the exact same thing. So it's been pretty wild to sort of see all that unfold. And I think it's pretty unique in, in history for us to have this kind of access to everyone's personal lives at the same time as we're, we have absolutely nothing to do. It's just been pretty wild. And after the run on toilet paper that we've seen over the last few weeks, it looks like another run, like another shortage has developed in terms of gym equipment. People are rushing out, they're buying dumbbells, barbells, whatever they can get their hands on, and things are going out of stock. So it really is a treat, a luxury. Uh, I feel very happy to have set up my home gym several years ago, and I really do have everything I need in here. The only new addition that I have is my work from home setup. So I've got a desk, chair, laptop, and with the TV here, it, it's, all, it's all here. It's everything I need, and it's separated from the noises of the house. The only sort of occasional noises I get are, you know, when the kids are playing basketball directly outside this garage door, but it's no big deal. I've got headphones, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's fine. And plus, during conference calls or, you know, sometimes when the wife thinks I'm just out here working, I can always get in a little bit of extra, you know, work with the, uh, with the barbells over here, get some extra squats in, deadlifts, whatever. And, you know, the boss and the wife, just they're none the wiser. So that's nice, um, and I, I, have, I have enjoyed that. One thing I did think that I would have more of in this quarantine situation is time. So I haven't really had enough time. The kids have been kind of a handful. Work has actually been somehow more busy than usual, and maybe that has to do somewhat with the stock market volatility, but things have been really hectic, and I haven't been able to dedicate as much time to sort of creating content on my blog or creating a YouTube channel, developing cohesive, you know, consistent content like I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to eventually. But I am pushing forward. I'm working on some new ideas on how I can create content that's more focused, consistent, and has like a sort of a clear voice. So stay tuned for all that. Other updates, training's going pretty well. I am going to test my one rep max in about a week and a half. I've been having some nagging injuries, but everything's good. I'm going to shoot for some new personal records, 345 pounds on the squat, 435 on the deadlift, and 275 on the bench. That would be a total of around 1,055 pounds, which would be pretty great. All of those are PRs, and I'd be really, really thrilled if I got over 1,050 pounds, and so we'll see. I'll probably space it out over a couple of days, but it should be in the next week and a half, and I will obviously film it and try to share it with everyone. Then in terms of nutrition, that's been going fine. After my bulk up to 190 pounds, so I added about 15 pounds a few months ago, which I documented here on this very YouTube channel. But since then, I've been able to maintain 188-ish pounds, so you know, plus or minus two pounds, pretty consistently and pretty easily. I think after I hit these one rep maxes, I'll probably set some new goals, and those goals will be maintaining whatever strength I hit 
but also maybe slimming down to about 180 pounds. So just to see if I can hold on to the strength gains that I've made while cutting back on the extra fluff that I've developed. So cut it back to like 180 pounds and just see how I feel at that point. So tons and tons of our plans have been canceled. We had plans for spring break, we had plans for other travel, we had plans to go up to our vacation house at the lake, we had plans to do school plays, little league baseball, just all kinds of things. And they've all been canceled. Going to concerts, just, just canceled, everything canceled. And I know that's not unique. Everyone's had has those same issues and they, everyone's had to cancel a bunch of stuff. So if you've made it this far into the video, if you would just comment down below with the thing that you're most sad that has been canceled, and it could be the Olympics, the NBA playoffs, whatever. Um, for me, the saddest thing that has been canceled is Little League Baseball. So I was, this year, I was set up to be head coach of my youngest son's baseball team. We had drafted the team just as we were going into the quarantine, and the team on paper looks to be pretty good. I've got two assistant coaches, which I coached with in the fall for flag football. They're great guys. I like hanging out with them. So it was going to be a pretty sweet season. It just all signs were pointing that way, and now it's been delayed at least two months, so we may not even have a season. So that's kind of the biggest bummer for me. Anyway, hang in there, everybody. Reach out if you're struggling. Watch my videos if you're bored. And above all else, keep it on the DL.